Good morning dear students. Now we'll start question number 5. In triangle ABC, AB equal over AC. Show that the tangents to the circumcircle circum circle of the triangle ABC. That means inside the circle this our what will be triangle. And tangent is our at A parallel to our BC. Which tangent will draw this tangent will be our parallel to our BC. So this tangent will be our parallel to our BC. So given in triangle ABC, our AB is our equal to our AC. To prove, what to prove? The tangent to the circumcircle of the triangle ABC at A, this tangent. Inside this circle, this triangle, this tangent is our PT. Here we are considering this one is our PT. Circumcircle of the triangle ABC at A is parallel to our BC. This tangent will be parallel to our BC. So proof, let PT be the tangent. We are considering this our PT will be our tangent at our A. In triangle ABC, in triangle our ABC, AB equal our AC. And this one we know, angles equal to equal sides. Angles are equal to the equal sides. Angles opposite to the equal sides are equal. So it is our earlier classes, we learned this one. So in triangle our AB equal our AC, therefore our angle ABC will be our equal to our angle ACB. In our earlier classes we learned this one, if a triangle two sides are equal then their opposite angles are equal. So here we got this one, ABC equal our ACB, this one equation number 1. Then PT is our tangent at our A, and AC is our, this AC is our chord, AC is our so here two angles form this angle and alternate segment this one. So these two angles will be our equal. So it will be our equ equation will be our C. Equation will be two here. And this diagram you'll see this angle will be our TAC. This angle will be our equal to will be our ABC. Angles on alternate segment. This is our equation number two. So from one and two, what we got in equation number one C, it is given our ABC equal our ACB. And here also our ABC is equal to our TAC. That means our ACB equal to our TAC. But these two angles equal to our alternate angle. See in diagram our ACB, ACB, this angle and TAC, this angle. These two angles is our alternate angle like our Z only. So these two angles are alternate angle. Therefore our PT will be our parallel to our BC. So here it is our finished. Question number 7. Two circles touch each other externally. Externally it is, see here it is touching. At A, this touching point is our A. If two straight lines drawn through A, through this A, two straight lines, this one one straight line, another straight line, this one. This one cut our, cut the circle at our P, here it is our P, this is our Q, and X, Y respectively. So, prove that our, this Px, this line Px is our parallel to our Qy. This line is our parallel to Qy. Px is our parallel to Qy. So what is given? This one will write here. Given two circles with our center. Here center we are considering O. First circle center we are considering O. And second circle we are considering it is center O dash. Touch each other externally at A. Externally which point they are it means touching here A. Two straight lines drawn through A. Cut the circle at P, Q, N, X, Y respectively. To prove, what to prove? X, P, X is parallel to our Q, Y. So here co construction, we did this one, our common tangent, L, A, M. So common tangent, this one is our common tangent. So common tangent, our L, A, M of both circle is drawn. Proof, see. L, A, X, this one our L, A, X. And our M, A, Y this angle these two angles will be our equal why it is our vertically opposite angle these two angles are equal so we'll give this one equation number one again see l a m this one is our tangent l a m is tangent at a and our a x 
x is our chord so here two angles form this one is our angle and is our alternate segment this angle so these two angles will be our equal so la x this one l a x this angle will be equal to will be our a p x this one will be our equation number two this is our angle on alternate segment similarly this side also in this side if we come so it will be our m a y this side m a y will be our a q y alternate segment it is angle on our alternate segment so it will be our equation number three now see from one two and three from equation number 1 and 2 and 3 so equation number 1 lax is equal to our may and equation number 2 lax see lax here also lax angle lax so here it is our may and apx that means these two angles also are equal to each other because lax lx same it is our common and equation number 3 may again our may this may is equal to our aqy so we are able to write apx is equal to our aqy APX is equal to our AQY. So in diagram you will see this one APX. APX is our where? See APX. APX. This APX we are able to start from Q. So QPX we are able to write because here our angle will be not change anything. Same to same will be remain. So it will be our QPX. Similarly here it is given our AQY. So see. A Q Y A Q Y. This one we are able to start from P, so it will be our P Q Y. So angle will not change, but these two angles is our what alternate angle, like Z only going. So it is our alternate angle. Therefore our P X will be parallel to our Q Y. But Q P X and our angle P Q Y are alternate angles. Therefore P X will be our parallel to our Q Y. Hence proved. Question number ten. A B C D A B C D is a cyclic quadrilateral. That means inside circle this quadrilateral. And P A Q our P A Q is our tangent. P A Q is our tangent. This P A Q is our tangent at our A. We are touching this one, this point. To the circumscribing of the quadrilateral. If A D C this our angle A D C this entire angle is equal to our 85 degree. And Q A B this one. Q A B this one is equal to our 60 degree. Then we need to find out angle B D C. This small angle. This one we need to find out. It is very easy. So what is given our? See given it is our A B C D is a cyclic quadrilateral and P A Q is a tangent at our A. Also our angle A D C is equal to 85 degree and Q A B is equal to our 60 degree. To find angle B D C. So determination. See A B is our chord. Which one is our chord? A B is our chord. So here, this one P A Q is our tangent. So this angle and this angle will be our equal because these two angles will be our alternate segment. So angle our Q A B is equal to will be our angle A D B. Q A B this angle will be our equal to angle A D B. And it is given in our question Q A B is equal to our 60 degree. Therefore our A D B also will be our 60 degree. Angle ADB also our 60 degree. Now it is our given angle ADC, angle our this angle, entire angle, this one is our 85 degree. So in angle ADC, two angles are there. Angle our ADB and another is our angle BDC, two angles are there. So ADC will be our angle ADB plus our angle BDC is equal to our 85 degree. And here it is, we got this one, our this one, our ADB is equal to our 60 degree from here. So ADB is equal to 60 degree plus our angle BDC. Now 60 degree will subtract from 85 degree. So angle BDC will be our 25 degree. Question number 11. It is also like our question number 10 only. ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and PQ is a tangent. PQ is our tangent. At eight to the circle circumscribing the quadrilateral. If BD is diameter, BD is here it is our BD diameter and ABD a B D this one is equal to our 30 degree and our B D C angle B D C is equal to our 60 degree then need to find number one Q A D so Q A D this one we need to find out this angle Q A D so Q A D and this angle will be our same because here see P A Q is our tangent and our A D is our chord this one is our chord so here this angle and this angle these two angles in our alternate segment so these two angles will be our same 
so if this angle is equal to our 30 degree so this angle also will be our 30 degree so see given our abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral and pq is a tangent at a to the circle bd is our diameter such that abd is equal to our angle abd is equal to our 30 degree and angle bdc is equal to our 60 degree to find number one number two like this our up to five so determination number one you'll see number one qad this one qad and our bad will be our equal because it is our angle on alternate segment and our abd it is already given in our question 30 degree so qad also will be our 30 degree now we need to find out bad 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 it is our one semicircle because our bd is our diameter so a is our in our semicircle angle on semicircle so angle on semicircle is equal to our 90 degree so our this one will be number number two will be our bad will be our 90 degree angle on semicircle very easy it is finished our now number three a p a b p a b this angle you need to find out p a b so this one also easy c p a b b a d and q a d is our all sum is will be, will be our 180 degree because it's our linear pair c this angle plus this angle plus this angle it is our 180 degree it is our linear pair straight line it is this is our linear pair so this angle we got 30 degree this angle 90 degree so 180 degree plus minus will be our 180 degree minus will be our sum of these two angles it is our 30 degree it is our 60 what is 90 degree so 90 degree plus our 30 degree 120 degree so this angle will be our 60 degree so this angle our 60 degree pab we got our 60 degree now question number four it is our bcd bcd also our own semicircle so it is our diameter and this c is our on our semicircle so this one will be our angle on semicircle that means our 90 degree so number four bcd will be our 90 degree then number five we need to find out cbd cbd this angle we need to find out this cbd so see cbd is also easy in triangle our bcd in triangle our bcd this triangle bcd in this triangle this angle we got 60 degree and this angle also we know 90 degree so 60 plus 90 will be our 60 plus 90 150 degree and sum of the three angles for triangle 180 degree so 180 degree minus 150 degree will be our 30 degree so number five number five is our angle cbd will be our what degree we got 30 degree so see in triangle bcd we have the sum of the three angles is equal to our 180 degree angle sum property of a triangle and we'll put the values this one we got 60 degree and this value we got 90 degree so 60 plus 90 150 if we subtract this one from 180 degree it will be our 30 degree so this exercise here finished next we will start our 8.2 thank you have a nice day